Mo and friends. <laughs> learning it today, my has a yearning to no more. Sing! I see that you're carrying an H this time, and H is a really hard letter to rhyme. Mo loves to wander around Rome. If I were you, I'd probably stay at home. Ha <laughs> ha, take it easy, Mo. Bye, Mo. Cheerio, Mo. <laughs> 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 what is a helicopter? Um, well, it, um, it's a thing where, where it flies through the air and it goes tugga 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 tugga. <laughs> tugga 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 tugga. <laughs> what a great sound. And how does it fly through the air? Does it have wings? Um, no, it has, um, these things, um, what are called, like, blades, and they blades. go around really fast what make it fly. Oh, they go round and round and round? Yes. Oh. What are the blades called? Uh, just rotor blades is a simple name for them. Uh, well, if the rotor blades spin around and round, uh, how come the helicopter doesn't spin around and round? So we've got an addition of uh, tar rotor blades in the back, and uh, they obviously spin as well. Tar rotor blades keep the helicopter in a straight line, or they also turn it if need be. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, so, uh, how do you fly a helicopter? Uh, with a bit of practice. <laughs> There's three controls. You've got your tar rotor pedals, which are used by your feet. Yep. And then you've got uh, the cyclic. The cyclic is controlling the main rotor blades on the top. Yeah. Collective is for up and down. So there's three different controls. Exactly. So uh, one of them is up and down. Yes. Uh, one of them is uh, keeping the helicopter straight. Yes. And one of them is left and right. Yeah, left and right, forward and back type situation. Oh, forward and back. Mm. Right. Okay. Well, that sounds really tricky. <laughs> oh, they're spinning around and around like rotor blades. <laughs> Making Mo feel dizzy just watching them. <laughs> Mo has a bit of a confession to make, actually. Uh, Mo's friends Frank and Fern can both fly, uh, but Mo can't. Uh, so Mo was wondering if there's any chance at all that you could take Mo flying in a helicopter. Yep, that wouldn't be a problem. Oh, that'd be really great. Let's go. Uh, uh, and ah. Uh. Let's go! Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, we're up really high. Just flying through the sky. No big deal. <laughs> so this is why Fern likes it so much. <laughs> oh, coming into land. Windy and touchdown. The monster has landed. <laughs> well, thank you for taking Mo on a helicopter ride. No problem, any time. <laughs> What is horse riding? Horse riding is riding a horse. Of course. Of course. <laughs> is it fun horse riding? Yes. And what are those little hats the horse riders are wearing? Those hats are called helmets. They're for safety, just oh. like when you're riding a bike. Oh, is it called a horse helmet? It's called a riding helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like horse riding? Is it fun? Yes. Is it hard to do? Mm, 
Not really. Oh, really? Oh. So how do you learn how to ride a horse? Usually you'd get someone who knows how to ride a horse to teach you. Oh. Can anyone go horse riding? Anyone can go horse riding. Oh. Do you like horse riding? Yes, I do. It's quite cool. Is it fun? Mm-hmm. Yeah? And uh, do you go really fast when you're on a horse? Not really. Not really? Just take it easy? Yeah. So what is the little seat that you sit on called? A saddle. Saddle? Oh. And uh, what are those straps on the horse's head called? A bridle. Bridle? Oh. What's the thing you hold called? Reins. How do you make the horse go forwards? You say, walk on. Walk on? Oh. And then how do you make the horse stop? Uh. Pull the reins? And what do you say? Halt. Halt. Oh. And uh, how do you make the horse turn left? Let me do this. Pull the reins. <laughs> On the left? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And uh, how do you make the horse turn right? Oh. Pull the reins on the right. Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. What is your favourite horse's name? Folly. Folly. <laughs> That's a nice name. What's your favourite thing about Folly? She's calm. Yeah? Just really relaxed? Yeah. Do horses like taking people for rides? I think most horses like going for a ride. It's good fun for them. Oh, really? So what was that game you were playing with the hoops? Well, we held them and the horse just moved forward. Oh, uh, so you all hold the hoops and then the horses walk in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Flags. Well, you weave in and out the cones with the flag, yeah. and you put it in the cone when you're finished. Oh, so you uh, pick up the flag and then put it in the cone? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think Mo should ride a horse? Yeah. Yeah? You can give it a go. Give it a go? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mo's going to do it. Oh. Who's this pretty girl? Mo, this is Raisin. You're going to be riding her today. Oh, hello, Raisin. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Raisin. I think she likes you, Mo. Oh, Mo likes her too. Shall we go for a ride, Raisin? I'll help you on, Mo. OK. Oh, she's beautiful. <coughs> oh, OK. And, and uh, uh, walk on, Raisin. Walk on. It's really foggy. Whoa! That is a big balloon! <laughs> Do you know what a hot air balloon is? It's one of those balloons that go up in the air. Whoa! Oh, big flames! <laughs> going up. Oh, well that looks beautiful. And what does the hot air balloon do? You can fly around places. You can fly in them? Yeah. Well, Mo needs to do that. Zeppelin. Oh, oh, the balloon is flying up in the sky. Oh. See you later, guys. <laughs> So how does a hot air balloon work? Well, we have big burners inside the balloon and it heats up all the air inside it and it lifts the balloon. Oh, is that the thing that the fire comes out it of? It is, it is. Oh, it's called a burner. So why does hot air make the balloon go up? Well, the hot air is lighter than the cold air outside the balloon. And so the hot air is trapped inside the envelope of the balloon and it lifts the balloon into the sky. How high do hot air balloons go? Well, in the city we like to stay below 2,000 feet. Is that to the moon? Not quite. Lower than that? Yeah. Lower than planes? Yeah. Lower than clouds? Yeah. 
Uh, lower than trees? No. Higher than trees? Higher than trees. OK, almost got it. So do you know anyone who has a hot air balloon? I have a hot air balloon. What? I know. Are you serious? Yeah. Maybe we should go on the balloon. Yes. in the sky. <laughs> oh, we'll see you later. Hello down there. Oh, uh, can we have a go at the burner, please? Yeah, sure, Mike. Oh, show me how to do it. Just like this. All you got to do is squeeze. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Hello! Oh, we're coming back down. Yeah. Oh. Whoa! Oh. oh, we're on the ground. Oh. oh, that was amazing. Oh, thank you for taking Mo flying in your hot air balloon. That's all right, Mo, anytime. Oh. Oh. I can't see a thing. Oh. Oh, dear. I will find out more. I was looking for a hairdresser. Uh, do you happen to know any? Yes, I'm a hairdresser. Oh, seriously? Yes. Do you know what a hairdresser is? It's a person that does your hair and they can cut your hair and they can style it really good for you. What do they use to cut your hair? Scissors. Oh, oh no! Oh, I can't look! That doesn't look like it hurts at all. They actually look like they're having a good time. Does it hurt when you get your hair cut? No, it does not. Oh, why not? No, you can't feel it like your fingernails. Oh, well, Mo doesn't have fingernails, but uh, Mo will take your word for it. So when you're getting your hair cut, uh, what do you have to do? All I need to do is just sit and look in the mirror, basically. Can you jiggle around when you're getting your hair cut? Not really. Well, they might cut the wrong bit of hair. Mm -hmm. You might have a bit that's like really, really short. You must have sat still because your hair looks good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What would happen if you never ever get a haircut? It would just like be all ratty at the bottom. That would be extra bad for Mo because mm -hmm. Mo's kind of got hair everywhere. Oh, ho, ho, he looks cool. <laughs> Who wants a haircut like that? So Mo's thinking, uh, just a little off the top, uh, so Mo can see better. Uh, but uh, don't touch the tuft. Uh, it's kind of Mo's trademark. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get into it. What does Mo do? Oh. All done. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that looks good. What do you guys think of Mo's haircut? Looks cool. Ooh. Looks great. Oh, Mo agrees. Uh, who wants cuddles? <laughs> oh, what are these guys doing? Looks hot. Mo's going to check it out. Why are you lighting a fire? We're cooking some food in the ground. Why are you doing that? It's a traditional way of cooking of our Māori people from the past and still very much today. Don't even need an oven. Don't need an oven. Don't that even is need the electricity. Oven. The hole in the ground is the oven. Oh, and what's it called? It's called the hangi. Oh. What kind of food is in a hangi? Stuffing. Oh, do you like the stuffing? Yes. Do you have meat in a hangi? Yes. Do you have vegetables in a hangi? Mm-hmm. So what is your hangi pit made of? Our pit here is concrete around the edge, and we have a, right. a, a steel tin lid to go over the top. What would you do, though, if you didn't have a, a fancy steel and concrete hangi pit? Well, you'd simply just dig a hole in the earth. What do you do first when you're preparing a hangi? We gather volcanic rocks, and we put the rocks on top of the timber, and yeah. we light the fire. Oh, and then what happens? You allow yourself about three to four hours for the fire to heat the rocks. And the same time, you allow that time to prepare the food. Uh, OK. Lots of potatoes to peel. Better get started. Uh. Oh. 
Oh, there's a lot of work. So the food is all prepared now. Uh, what do we do next? Now, we take the food that we've prepared, that's placed in a basket, and we put it on top of those hot rocks. Oh, so the hot rocks are underneath a basket of food? Yes. And all the heat is coming up? Oh, and it cooks it all the way through? It does. Oh. And then we cover it. We cover it with wet sacks. It creates steam. So it's a steamed way of cooking in the earth. And we put a lid on top of modern days. In the past, we just put earth over it. And we just leave it in for three to four hours to cook. Ooh. Is it hangy time? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. We're so hungry. Are you guys hungry? Yes. Oh, let's eat. <laughs> what are you going to eat first? Who recommends the potatoes? Betty, yeah. have you tried the potato? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Mo peel the potato. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, that is good honey. Ooh. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs>